For years, I've heard the same prediction. Google Sheets is killing Excel. Python is killing Excel. And now AI is killing Excel. But I woke up this morning to a YouTube comment and a viewer asked, is Excel VBA practical and reliable for the long term use over other software? And honestly, it is a fair question. Why are we still using a white grid all the way back from to 1985 to run the modern economy when we have better tools? But then I looked at the actual money. If Excel is dying, nobody told the market. This industry isn't shrinking. It's actually valued at $9.7 billion today. And it's projected to nearly double to 19 billion by 2034. In fact, dying technologies do not grow at a rate of 8% compound annual growth rate every year. This actually isn't a funeral, guys. It is a takeover. In the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna share with you three reasons why Excel refuses to die and why betting against the grid might be the biggest mistake of your career. So let's address the elephant in the room. Why doesn't specialized software kill Excel? Well, why doesn't even Google Sheets kill it? Or even QuickBooks? Or maybe even Salesforce? Well, actually think of it this way. Specialized software is like fast food. It's great if you know exactly what you want and it's on the menu. However, Excel is more like your kitchen. You can make anything you want any time you want. And even halfway through, you can change your order and adjust it to your taste, even when the request makes no sense. In fact, here's another way to look at it. In the corporate world, software like QuickBooks is more like a statue. It's polished, it's beautiful. It does one thing perfectly, accounting, but it's also rigid. If you try to bend a statue, it's gonna break. Right? We can't adjust QuickBooks. We can't change it. We can't modify it. And that's the same issue with most of the software on the market today. But Excel is completely different. Think of Excel like clay. It's ugly. It's gray. It has no structure. But that is actually a superpower because you can mold it into exactly what you want or whatever your boss is asking for, or maybe even the customer request. It is fully pliable and you can create anything from it. It's like a canvas where you create your art or your paintings, or you can create a functional, is what I call functional art. And that's exactly what that Excel worksheet is. It is a blank canvas, which you can create beautiful, powerful applications in just a short time. In fact, Every major software company knows this. This is why if you look closely, every single one of them has a button called export to Excel. If Excel wasn't as powerful as it was, all these other major applications would not actually export their data to it. This is actually the last mile problem. The software holds truth, but the decision, the actual business move, that happens in spreadsheets. When the market crashes and you need a report that has never existed before, you can't wait six months for the IT department to code a new dashboard. You're gonna pull out Excel and grab exactly what you need. And it's the mold, and that's exactly what it is. And you build a solution in just 20 minutes. Specialized software manages the past while Excel allows you to model the future. And in a chaotic world, flexibility is job security. But there actually is a second reason why Excel dominates the marketplace and has for so long. And it's not only about flexibility, it's about physics. Why do the heavy finance pros hate the browsers? And that's about speed. And that's because browsers can never compete with Excel on speed. There's actually a misconception that everything is moving to the cloud. But for heavy data users, the cloud has latency. It's slow and it doesn't always offer solutions at the right time or even quick enough. Whereas desktop Excel, especially the 64-bit version, processes calculations locally on your CPU. It doesn't have to send data back and forth through a browser or through the cloud. And that makes things a lot faster and a lot more worthwhile for businesses who need data really quick. And when you're running a million or even billion row data set, the cloud chokes, desktop Excel crunches. And then there is the disconnected reality. Microsoft just released 
a brand new version. And this version is even designed specifically for environments that are banned from the internet. And those are talking about nuclear submarines or even high frequency trading floors and also secure government facilities. These institutions cannot use Google Sheets, nor can they use any type of database in the cloud. They need a local offline calculation engine. And that is exactly what Excel is and will always be for these institutions, whether it is banking and finance, military and defense, or even hospitals and healthcare. These institutions have extremely sensitive data and only Excel can handle that. Now you might be thinking, okay, it's secure, but is it modern enough? And this is actually the shift that nobody is seeing. Excel isn't just a spreadsheet anymore. It's actually a developer environment for non-developers. With even Python and Excel, you no longer need to leave it to the grid to use machine learning. It actually runs inside cells. And also with agent mode and copilot, you don't even need to write formulas anymore. You tell the AI, analyze the data and highlight the trends and it drives the spreadsheet for you. And even with third party tools, such as my AI tool pack, you can have Excel and AI working together seamlessly to save you tons and tons of time, just about any type of work that you might be doing within Excel. The future isn't actually AI replacing Excel, it's actually AI controlling Excel. So they work as a pair and as a team together for a very, very powerful solution. So we've proved Excel isn't dying, but there's a part that nobody is talking about. That $19 billion market growth, this isn't just money going to Microsoft, a massive chunk of that is actually going to regular people who know how to sell Excel. The opportunity number one is the digital real estate model. For example, let's go to Etsy or even Gumroad right now and search for wedding budget or even construction estimator. You will see simple spreadsheets selling for 10, 20, even $50. Some of these sellers are making hundreds of thousands of dollars. In fact, I've made over $1 million in the last few years just selling Excel templates. So the growth and the potential are there within Excel today because nobody wakes up wanting a spreadsheet. They wake up actually with a problem. I need to track my inventory or I need to plan my wedding. And that is exactly where Excel comes in. If you build a template to solve these problems, you're trading your time for money. However, if you create these templates and you sell them continuously, you're actually building it once and selling it forever. So Excel is the ultimate passive income stream. This brings us to an opportunity number two, and that's called shadow app development. Most people don't know this, but Excel is now a legitimate database for mobile apps. Tools such as Glide or Softer or even Power Apps let you take boring spreadsheets and turn it into a fully functional iOS or Android app in hours without even writing a single line of code. In fact, I know a guy who charged a construction company $15,000 to build an inventory system. The client thought he coded it from scratch. Nope. It was just an Excel sheet connected to a no code front end. He isn't an Excel guy anymore. He is a software engineer and he gets paid like one. So here's the secret to selling this. If you go into a job interview or client meeting and say, I know Excel, they will offer you $20 an hour. But if you say I built automated business systems or solutions, or I turn manual data into custom dashboards, suddenly you're a commodity, you're an architect, and they absolutely must have the solutions that you provide. Whether you want to sell templates for passive income on Etsy or build custom apps for your high ticket clients, the demand is exploding. The tools are already on your computer. You just need to decide if you want to be a user or a builder. So let's wrap this up. If you learn a niche tool, like a specific crypto accounting SaaS, you're betting on that one company. But if you learn Excel, you're betting on the entire global economy. This is called the Lindy effect. Technologies that have been around for 40 years are also the most likely to be around for the next 40. My advice, build your skill pyramid. Use Excel as your base, your foundation, which is the universal language. Also, you can use AI as your accelerator to help you develop applications faster and better than ever before. 
And on the top, use your own domain expertise in your niche to solve real world problems. And also don't be afraid to invest 100 hours into mastering this grid. It is the only tool that will likely still be here paying your bills in 2035. I've also have a workbook for you that's gonna help you, which includes the top platforms to sell your Excel templates. And I've also included a modern Excel cheat sheet, which will help you advance your Excel skills well into the future. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.